Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Uh, this time we are looking at the brand new The Hood Scenario Pack. And I decided to make this video because there are so much to talk about in The Hood uh, Scenario Pack that uh, it deserves its own video. So let's get started. Okay, so The Hood Scenario pack comes with a ton of new modular sets. Uh, this is because when you are playing the hood scenario, you are picking uh, a lot of modular sets to use. So, uh, setting up the scenario, uh, we choose uh, modular sets uh, from amongst uh, these here. So, there are nine different modular sets. Uh, Excluding these two, I'm talking about the Standard 2 and Expert 2. I'll talk about them in a moment. But we have uh, numbered from 1 to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 different modular sets. So, uh, Streets of Mayhem is the easiest. Uh, Brothers Scream is the second uh, easiest. Then the third is Ransacked Armory. Fourth is State of Emergency. Uh, fifth is Beastie Boys. Then we have Mr. Hyde as 6th, 7th uh, is Sinister Syndicate, 8th is Crossfire's Crew and 9 is the Wrecking Crew. So uh, when you want a lower difficulty game, uh, it is suggested you pick numbers 1 to 7. So the worst is cry uh, the uh, Sinister Syndicate and the easiest is the uh, Streets of Mayhem. Uh, for uh, moderate difficulty, uh, it is suggested numbers 2 to 8, so uh, we drop the Streets of Mayhem and add Crossfire Screw. And for higher difficulties, 3 through 9, so we drop the Brothers Scream and Streets of Mayhem and add uh, Wrecking Crew. So we have always 7 different modular sets, but th that is not all. Uh, you can uh, use any modular sets in other expansions for the game so this is not the uh, only way to play it so you ca could uh, pick a um, modular set uh, from amongst every um, set released so far so some from uh, for example uh, green goblin if you want to have like all of the um, Green Goblin, uh, Spider-Man minions to make the Rogue Gallery for Spider-Man. You you are allowed to do that. So you could have the Sinister Syndicate and something else, something else, and then uh, uh, have the uh, Scorpion, uh, a mess of things, or what it is called, and the other ones that have the uh, legendary Spider-Man uh, minions in them to make it thematic. So that is basically how you uh, set up the game and I'm getting back to the standard 2 and expert 2. So on standard, if, whenever you need to include the standard uh, modular set, now you can instead include the standard 2 modular set. So uh, this modular set is a bit different from the standard modular set. I'm not going into detail what everything does, but there is Shadows of the Past, so you are not getting rid of the Nemesis minions, but you still get uh, a lot of uh, new cards that repl uh, replace some of the old standard cards. Same thing with the Expert 2. This is a replacement for use instead of the Expert set, and uh, well, here there are only... Um, cards that will rep uh, replace uh, previous expert cards, so totally new content. And I'm sure to be trying out at least the standard uh, 2 and expert 2 in other, other scenarios, because uh, honestly I've been <laughs> getting a bit bored using the standard and uh, expert uh, modular sets all the time. So it's great they are making some uh, uh, new sets that replace those and I, I'm just imagining they will do the 
uh, standard 3 and expert 3 in the future or something like that. So uh, almost uh, these two are almost uh, worth um, to get the hood uh, scenario pack, but there are a lot of these and you can use these uh, modular sets in other scenarios as you choose. Uh, I will be playing the hood scenario using uh, standard difficulty, using the standard 2 and um, playing on uh, playing with the moderate difficulty I think I'm dropping the first and last um, modular sets and using the ones in the mid, mid uh, tiers maybe I'll do a ran completely random one later and some, something like that the last thing I want to mention there are some new keyword there is uh, actually there is one new keyword but there are a lot of keywords in the um, hood manual explained so we have a uh, recurring hinder inside permanent setup and villainous that is all and the new one is steady so uh, just to quickly uh, tell what the steady does is that for example if hood gets the hood's mantle into play uh, the hood gains retaliate one and steady Steady characters require two status cards of the same type to be stunned or confused. So that is all that uh, Steady does. So if you are stunning the villain, you need to stun the villain twice so that it becomes stunned. And when the villain activates, um, you remove both uh, stun cards from the villain when, when uh, you are cancelling the one stun. So if the villain only has one stun, uh, the villain works uh, normal and until it gets the second stun, then it is really stunned. But only for one action. And same uh, as with the confused. So you need to have two confused to uh, stop the villain from uh, scheming once. Okay, well... Uh, that is basically what I wanted to talk about in the hood scenario pack. Of course, uh, I will be uh, trying out this scenario quite soon and uh, hope this uh, short video was uh, worth watching. So you can decide if you want to pick, pick up the hood hero, uh, no, not the hero pack, but the hood scenario pack when it is available at your uh, location. So. Thanks for watching and until next time.